Hello, friends. It's good to talk with you today, and I'm so, so deeply saddened that we need to pivot once again and go back to online-only worship. Per New York State guidelines and Erie County, we are now in an orange zone, and while we are operating in an orange or red zone, worship will continue online, and most of our meetings and ministry will go online. Anyone who is currently engaged in a 10-person or less small group will be able to meet at the church if it is scheduled with Brenda in the church office. Things are certainly different once again, and this year has been full of ups and downs. But we know that God is standing by us, that God is walking with us, that God is using us to promote kindness and love for the gospel in this world. I encourage you, I encourage you to be kind to whomever you can, whenever you can, to show Christ's love even in these trying times. God is with us, friends. We'll get through this. Hello and welcome to worship with us on this Christ the King and Thanksgiving weekend. We are grateful that you worship with us online today. Let us praise God together.
Please join me in the call to worship. We come, for God gathers us here, with that community called faith. Where the hungry are served first, where the thirsty drink life's water. We come, for God welcomes us here into a home called grace. Where the naked are clothed in hope and strangers are embraced as prodigals. We come, for God unites us here, sisters and brothers in the family called love. Where the imprisoned model justice and the sick are cradled in God's peace. Amen. Let's join together in prayer. Awesome God, we thank you for worship. We thank you for your presence with us. I ask, Lord, that on behalf of all the people that are gathered in worship today, that you would be with each of us, that you would fill us, that you would remind us of thankfulness, and that you would walk us through this Sunday, reminding us of whose we are, so that in gratefulness we can turn that back to you. We offer prayers of thanksgiving, Lord. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Let's take a look at scripture in 1 Thessalonians and also Colossians. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again and supply what is lacking in your faith. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus said, Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Friends, today in worship, we are celebrating two things. The first is our cultural celebration of Thanksgiving. And the second is our Christian liturgical calendar celebration of Christ the King Sunday. These two complement one another. The reign of Christ or Christ the King Sunday is an opportunity for those of us in the Christian calendar to be coming to an end in a season, a whole year's worth of liturgy within the church life, hearing that whole narrative again. It's, a, it's an also a reminder that we are called and chosen, and it's an opportunity to give thanks for the author of salvation, to give thanks for the one who has given us the gift of the church and the fellowship of the body. And for that, we celebrate each time that we gather in any way to worship God, whether that's in person or online. 
Thanksgiving is also a time to celebrate in our cultural context the abundance of what we have from God. When we become overwhelmed with gratitude for all that God provides. From a very young age, I remember that what, wherever the Thanksgiving table was, sometimes it was quietly with one parent and my sibling. Sometimes it was with 30 people or more gathered around a table. Other times it, in my life, I think that I've even been away for Thanksgiving. No matter how big or small the table has been, there has been an abundance of thanks because it is a moment to pause for what we have. We do give thanks for a delicious meal and the people around a table, but ultimately we are giving thanks for our life in the kingdom of God. We are giving thanks for our place in this world as a child of God. We also are reminded at this time of year that there is an abundance around us. There's enough. There is enough in the world for everybody to live fully. And so what we are faced with is this question of thankfulness, this question of thankfulness and gratitude that when we are reminded that we are Christ, that in return with gratitude, we give back out of the blessings we have received. I think sometimes we focus those blessings on monetary things or tangible things, but they can be kindness and love. They can be things like patience. They can be things that we give to people because we so love God or more so because God so loves us. We've had three ways of tangibly giving this month at Williamsville UMC. We've had an opportunity to give to Redbird Mission through our shoe boxes. We've had an opportunity to give to Gateway Longview in their angel tree. We've also had an opportunity to provide some much needed items to the Seneca Street Christmas shop. We are showing thanks as an expression of gratitude by gifting to others. I hope that in our gratitude around the table and today in worship, that we would be overwhelmed with what we have received and feel like we have the ability to share and give forth to others. Friends, we are thankful. We are thankful. Let it be so for us this day. Amen. Friends, let's give back with our tithes, our gifts, and our offering. The way you can offer back your monetary gifts is seen behind me. Thanks for all you do for the kingdom of God.
Please join your voices with mine in our offering prayer. God of mercy and compassion, what is the offering that pleases you most? Certainly not the token gift that makes us feel like we have done all that is required, but a gift that reminds us that need is all around us. Compassion and love are needed desperately and can be given extravagantly. May the gifts we give through your church help the hungry, thirsty, the imprisoned, but may our whole being be centered on seeing the opportunities to personally make your love real to a hurting world. We follow in Christ's holy, loving way. Amen. Friends, go forth in thankfulness. Go forth in thankfulness knowing that Jesus Christ surrounds you with his love always. Go in his peace. Amen. Oh, mm -hmm.